Okay, here is one fader. And to start with, just to get them out of the way, I'm going to desolder this red wire, this black one, and this brown one. Just gets them up out of the way and then all the wires can be kind of peel back out of the way and you can just get to everything else you need to as you strip it down. Okay, so here's one where I have desoldered those three wires off there and like I said, you can just peel that away. Uh, it helps with the disassembly. And now what you wanna do, if you take a look all the way around the outside, there's these little prongs around the outside here. See a bit closer there. And what you need to do is take a pair of pliers long nose pliers, you want to squeeze these little prongs together, not too much, but just enough to bring them clear of the metal work that they are grabbing onto. So let's just do one to show you. Like I said, don't squeeze it too far, otherwise you'll close them up too much. But hopefully you can see, I've now pinched that down just enough to not be spreading out. So hopefully you can see the difference between this one that I've done and this one that I haven't. So you're squeezing it just so that it's no longer splaying outwards. You pinch them in a bit and when you've done all of them they'll be clear of this piece of the metalwork. So you go all the way around the outside. There's one here, one here, one here. One here, 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 and here. So go around and do all of those. Don't pull it apart just yet, but uh, do that first. Okay, I've been round and pinched those together. As you can see, as I said, you don't want to close those pins right together. You want to squeeze them just enough to come clear of the metal work. Now before we open it up, just want to make you aware of one thing. This is going to be really fiddly and complicated. So as you can see, there's a little pulley wheel here with the drive belt wrapped around it. If you look at the opposite end, you see the drive belt coming over can look on yours as well but you can see the drive belt coming over these this little edge this rounded edge and going onto the gear wheel of the motor hopefully you can see that so when the mo when the fader is driving up and down you can see the wheel turning That's what drives the uh, fader up and down. That motor turning that toothed pulley wheel and the toothed drive belt. So what I do is split it from this end and hinge the whole thing open like that back on, to, back on this rounded bit so it kind of rolls back. So you can just break it there. And you'll see that the PCB actually kind of resting between these splines kind of front uh, one side to the other there and you can see in there as well it's a bit oily like somebody sprayed something some lubricant of some sort in there which isn't a great thing we're going to clean all that out anyway but as you split it open you want to hinge it there because you want to roll it back on this rounded wheel. So very carefully split it because you want to keep some tension on the belt. So as you can see, I'm keeping the tension on the belt. I'm keeping it taut because if you loosen it up, it's going to drop off anyway. So this is the, the method if you want to try and clean it without messing with the drive belt. 
So you'll need to keep some tension on it and hold it open like this, keeping tension on the belt. So it's pretty difficult, pretty fiddly, but this is the way to do it. And then what you want to do is split this PCB away from this metal piece, but make sure the tag of the fader, the fader lip as such, keep a hold of it by pushing on it with your finger here, because that's the bit that the drive belt is attached to, and that's the bit that's going to fall apart if you don't keep a hold of it. So all we want to do is pull this board away from this metal work. Okay, so it's pretty fiddly. Be gentle. And this is also where you're going to see all the dirt and grime. So yuck, as you can see. This is pretty... I don't know if the lighting's good enough, but it's pretty gunky in here. See if I can get some better light on it. Can you see that? I'll do another macro shot a bit closer up so you can see the gunk. But all I've done is peeled that away. And this board, the black side, that's actually the carbon tracks that the fader works on. And you need to be really careful what you're touching in here. Basically the back of this tag is this plastic carriage and I'll do some close-ups to show you but just see how close we can get. This plastic carriage has got some very fine wipers on it. Let's see if I can get some better light. that better okay so I don't know if you can see at all because there's so much gunk on it under this bit here and that bit there are the wipers for the uh, the faders, so I'm going to remove that. This is why the faders don't work properly or they jump or skip because this is absolutely caked in gunk. Watch this, hopefully, the light will allow you to see really carefully. Just try and brush away this massive clump of fur and gunk. See that. Huge great big lump of fur and gunk there. That is totally engulfing the wiper. So that's why it's not working properly. And there's so much more on there. I don't know if the light can help to see that. But that there is one wiper. And that's the other. And they're pretty tarnished metal anyway, so they're not going to be shiny. I might have to do some very close-up pictures to try and show you, but basically all these clumps of fluff and gunk you are going to need to clean out of here. All this stuff. So I reckon it takes about 20 minutes to half an hour per fader to get all of this crap out. And I'm showing you the way that you probably want to be doing it because it's quite scary taking the belt apart. But I am a bit crazy like that and I will take mine entirely apart and clean them properly. I'm just showing you the, the easiest way. But you need to be really careful not to poke around on these wipers too much because you don't want to bend them or damage them. So 
So just with a pair of tweezers, just get rid of any bits of hair or fluff that are on them. Now there's another massive piece of gunk here on this. Let's just get that off. See that? Huge, great big piece. So that's, there's a big bit of what looks like dog hair or something. But that has already cleaned this up massively. Just gonna go and get a torch and shine on here. Maybe it will show a bit better. <laughs> 